Right. Um, in I'm from uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and Los Angeles, and I um, I am an acting coach in Los Angeles. Cool. And so, um, and I'm known for helping young people with um, teaching them the Disney Nickelodeon style of auditioning. Interesting. So, what's the difference between Nickelodeon style and Disney style? Uh, well, Disney is believable and big. And Nickelodeon is gigantic and insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have kids like practice getting slime well, dumped well, on them? One more thing. So, if I was like this, I would say like on this on TV, I'd say like, "Hi, how you doing?" And then if I was on Disney Channel, I'd say, "Hey, how's it going?" And if I was on Nickelodeon, I'd say, "Oh man, good to see you." <laughs> wow. Makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense. I'm awake now. Yeah. <laughs> we should have had you on first. Yeah, yeah. I got Missoula. You should do a PSA for us. <laughs> so you yourself, do you act? Yes, right? I am. Yes, okay. I'm, an, I'm an actor myself. I've been in 150 plays, 52 commercials. I've starred in uh, a number of television shows, and I was nominated for an Emmy for one of them. Awesome. Nice. Right, so that's my little career, and then, um, but, I'm, but I love teaching young people about acting, okay, and this year I was very lucky to be awarded by Backstage Magazine as the best acting coach in Los Angeles, awesome. and so um, that's cool, that brought a lot of kids, and I've written seven books for uh, young people that they use around the world, and um, so I'm doing a workshop at 9 o'clock today at the Crystal Theater, and um, on how to audition for Disney, and then tomorrow I'm doing a workshop at 9, also how to audition for commercials, because in this market, obviously, Commercials are the number one thing kids need to know. Yeah, you know? yeah. And like, like when I was a kid, probably the favorite, my favorite thing to do was to pretend, like pre playing pretend. It's when you were a kid, listen to him. When yeah, I was right. a kid, you're, you're still pretending. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just did a bunch of summer camps, and I guess our last summer camp is ends this week. So that's seven, eight camps for me. It's all like video, audio, video camps and stuff. So work with kids who have no idea and yeah, just kind of making something. It was a lot of fun. It was a blast. <laughs> yeah, it was a great, great time. It was a good time. We had yeah. a really good, um, yeah, good turnout, good yep. kids, for sure. Fantastic. Yeah. And so um, what's one thing that you, what's like a big thing that you try to teach children when getting ready for commercials? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, um, the, the obviously commercials, you try to sell the product. So yeah. if you don't believe in the product, you should not go to the commercial audition. That's the okay. first thing. Okay. So you have to mentally believe right, okay. in it. I don't sell, I don't do any um, tobacco products. Yeah, yeah. why would you? Because right. a lot of times people watching can always spot it a phony. A lot of times, you know. Well, they're not going to get the job. Right. They, you know, like, <laughs> that first thing they walk in, they say, you know, you like this product and you have to tell the truth. Okay. But sometimes actors can lie, obviously. Right. Obviously. Yeah, you're an actor. But so, so for a kid, so I, I help, help them and then I help them sell it and show them little tricks and I have a little technique that I use that helps the kids really get the thing together. So that's it. And, and I have coached over 5,000 actors and they've worked in, you know, for ABC, NBC, Nickelodeon, Disney on Broadway, hundreds and hundreds of commercials and so. That's awesome. And how did you get into this? Well, uh, on my very first uh, day in Los Angeles, uh, I needed a survival job. Uh, and so I got a job delivering packages. And I had done a little coaching in Nashville, Tennessee. And so what I did was I got they tested me out by making me deliver one package to Beverly Hills. And so I went to Beverly Hills and I got ready to deliver this package. And there was a 10-year-old boy s sitting next to his house crying. I'm like, why? So I was from Tennessee, so I cared. So I, <laughs> so I go, why, why are you crying? He's like, I have to go to this coach for acting. I hate it. And so I said, well, let me help you with your lines. And I helped with his lines. And his mother walked outside and said, who are you? And the kid said, this is my new acting coach, Chamber Stevens. He comes to your house. And the mother said, thank God, I don't have to drive. Do you charge the same as the other guy? And the 10-year-old said, yes, he does. And the mother went in and wrote a check. And so I then went back to the place, and I didn't get hired because I took too long delivering the packages. But I wrote my name number on the top of the guy's lines, and the agent called and said, hey, the kid booked the job. I told you that coach was fantastic. And the mother said, oh, please, we didn't use him. We used Chamber Stevens. He comes to your house. And the agent's like, fantastic. And I had five clients the next day. Oh, my God. And that was 25 years ago. That's wow. so and great. So it was what like, in a, in a spiritual story. sense, I was meant to be a coach. It just had to happen. Yeah. Literally. Just literally fell right in your lap. Bam. Man, that's awesome. <laughs> awesome. What a great story. Yeah, I think so. that's my favorite story I've heard all year. Yeah. That's a good one. That's yeah. Good. 
So, 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 so now I'm also doing the one person show. That's why okay. I'm really here. Yes. Yes. Tell us about part that. Part of the Zootown Fringe, and this it's a show called um, "It's Who You Know." Okay. And being a coach and being, living in Nashville, Tennessee, I mean, I lived right next to Barbara Mandrell. Roy Orbison lived down the street from me. Johnny Cash was a sponsor of my little league baseball team. <laughs> and so, and also, I have run into lots of crazy celebrities. Some incredible, some literally insane. And this my show has this kind of interesting premise in that there's cards all over the stage, these big cards with all these famous people's names on them. So what I do is I shuffle the cards every night, throw the rest of them on the floor, and every single time you come in, I pull one in and I tell a different story from them. So ah. you might, the show that's going to be on uh, Saturday, Friday will be totally different than the show will be on Saturday. Cool. Wow. Can you give us a story? I'll give you the short, one of the shortest yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, let me see. Shia LaBeouf. Oh, great. Yes, let's hear this. <laughs> right. Once gave my eight-year-old son a comic book that Shia had written on the joys of smoking. That's ridiculous. Eight. What was one of the best things about smoking from Shia? <laughs> yeah. <What> yeah. Did... <laughs> my son was like, what the <laughs> Like I can see people in Missoula going to the public library and going to the children's area in that dragon rug and just reading. Charlie Buff wrote this. Right, right. I love him. Was that, was that book? I mean, he just and he, signed, he goes, "Oh, you might want to sign it too." And he's like, "Okay." Well, well, yeah, great. <laughs> Like he, he seems he definitely like like he seems like he's going places for sure. He like he's just at the point where he's gonna and then do something he just really good. Does something really crazy. Oh, let me tell you, it's I, just like I, I, I'm a huge fan of Shia. Okay? I am. He's a wonderful human being, but he lives on a different planet than yeah. all the rest of us. And so he, you know, he didn't see anything as strange as <laughs> choice of smoking. But he was just like, "Here, kid, I wrote this." Dude, I remember when he was a kid actor, like when yeah. he was doing the whole show on Disney Channel. Channel. Even Steven. Yeah. Did he really? Oh, that's funny. He was crazy then as a yeah. kid. I love that show. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I do have to ask you, um, have you ever met Jennifer Aniston? Because I love her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do you have any stories about her? <laughs> well, my story about Jennifer Aniston is, is, is kind of sad, but not because of her. It's just because of something that happened with the person that she was dating at the time. Mm -hmm. That person passed away. So. Oh, that is uh, sad. That story, when that story comes up, it's kind of sad to tell that one. But I just love her so much. That's why I had to ask. She was very, She's very flawless. Kind. Yeah. God, nice. she looks great, too. Yeah. <sighs> Very cool. And so I have stories on Leonardo DiCaprio. I have stories on uh, Julia Roberts and, you know, just like Tom Cruise, all these people. And so you never know when they're going to happen. And yeah. obviously Johnny Cash and, you know, and even a story on Elvis. And so stories like that happen and they just kind of come That's up. great. Leonardo DiCaprio was here, actually. And he yeah, he, he, was, he was just hanging out with Toby McGuire. Cool they went to friends, um, went to Paza. Yeah, Paza Branch is the kind of like the experience, the Hollywood experience up in Montana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, and so they just <laughs> stayed there and partied and then came to Missoula and drank <laughs> coffee here. Went to a farmer's market. Went to a farmer's market. <laughs> flea market. Yeah. Yeah. We found our favorite chocolates here. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Addicted to chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Cher have the same chiropractor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Except I go to the office to get mine, okay? And Toby and Leonardo have an ongoing poker game that they play, okay? <laughs> and the character goes to the poker game. Oh, that's and hilarious. Just their necks in around the table, and weird. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> so, you, you do a lot of workshops. Uh -huh. I mean, like, how long are you going to be here in Missoula for? And then I'm what's next? The whole week. Okay, I have a lot of places to eat. Yes. Okay, I started with the Silk Road last night. That was fantastic. <laughs> I'm a snob about international food. Unbelievable, like five different kind of categories of different kind of places. I was like, it was fantastic. Good. And I'm going to eat at the Notorious B.I.G. I'm sorry, I can't be selling these guys. Oh, Notorious P.I.G. A oh, P.I.G. I'm going to eat there. That's fairly new. Okay. That I is fairly tried new. It. Right. And I'm going to go to place down the street. There's like some kind of... You're going to have to go to Burn Street Bistro for breakfast. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. Do you guys know Holly Sorensen? Do you guys know who that is? No. She's a wonderful producer. Um, and um, she is. she told me I have to go to Oxford. <laughs> uh, but only go at like three in the morning go, after you've been no, downtown. Go at four in the morning. Yeah, three. Get, a, get like eggs. Two. And they have grease from basically when you were born. Okay. They yeah. keep the same <laughs> grease on there. That sounds perfect. From when you're like, oh, mm. go yeah, to this reminds me of when I played Little League. <laughs> <laughs> go to the, yeah, go to the Rose, go to Charlie B's, and then go to the Oxford. So I'm searching for more sandwiches. Oh, this is mine, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yes, this is one of your posters. This is my thing. Clark. Flyers. Yeah. And Great. anyway, um, I... Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking always for more and more stories. And then after this, I leave and I go to St. Louis, um, Memphis, Nashville, 
Charleston and Atlanta. This wow. is the first day wow. on that tour. Wow, that's awesome. And so how long is your tour going to be? Um, it's probably going for a whole year. And um, I hope you I, don't have any cats. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> one thing I'm worried about, though, is how am I going to find a better producer than this woman? Oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah. I mean, she is like just an angel, you well, know what I mean? That's we, one great thing about Missoula is that everyone here is really down to earth and really connected with each other and with Missoula and like with the artists. Yeah, it's, we're, Missoula's not too big to be mm -hmm. disconnected, but we're um, just, Very big, community. just small enough. We're humble. Or, it's a community, yeah. yeah. Missoula is probably one of the most fun places you perform, yeah. I would think. Yeah, but well, I'm like, really looking Spread forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> Spread the word. Yeah, yeah I will. <laughs> Definitely, I will. Okay, so then, one more time, when and where are your shows and workshops? Okay, so my workshop is tomorrow, it's a day at 9 o'clock in one hour, and that's for Disney, and in uh, another hour, I'll, I mean, next day, I'll be doing the commercial workshop, and then my shows are Friday and Sunday, and um, when are they, Michelle? Sorry, it's in 15 minutes. It's oh, 15, my, oh. 15 minutes my workshop is. And um, my and my yeah. show at the Crystal Theater is... Oh, I have to look it up, too. Okay, look it up. It's on Friday okay. night and on Saturday. Saturday. Two shows on Saturday, one on matinee and one on um, that night. Awesome. Nice. Great. Well... Just go eat the Silk Rose, and then I'll go out and into the, there, and I'll say, hey, it's time for my show to start, and you can come on in. Uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. Zootownfringe.org, too.